Hello. In this exercise, I'm going to go over offset planes and how to create a plane on an angle. So with traditional uh, planes, we have the front, we have the top, we have the right. Uh, traditional, I mean default planes. That's what SolidWorks gives us for every uh, model and assembly that we create. And you cannot delete them. So you can hit the delete key or right click uh, and you cannot delete them. So they're, they're pretty robust. I can hide them or show them at any time. Right click, hit the eyeball to show each one. Some students like to see them, some don't. Um, you'll notice that SolidWorks is giving us this silhouette edge or the, these edges where the planes are intersecting. It's very important to, to pay attention to those little features that SolidWorks gives us. All right, so I'm going to right click and hide each one. Okay, plane, uh, an offset plane. I have to pre-select a plane in advance. So in this case, I'm selecting the top plane. Uh, on my features toolbar, I'm gonna select reference geometry, plane, and then because I'm in inches, pounds, and seconds, on the left-hand side, I can punch in a distance at whatever increment I want in inches. So in this case, two inches. And when I hit the green check mark, I have created my new plane, okay? And it is two inches away from the top plane. So you can see it right there. So here's my top plane at the bottom. If I wanted to show it, maybe it's easier to see it this way, but now I have two planes that are parallel to one another. At any time, I can double click on this dimension in the graphics area, change its, change its value and hit regenerate. I can right click and edit the plane's feature and change it this way, or not only change its value, but hit flip offset so that my plane is, is traveling in the other direction. So now it's, it's two inches below the top plane. Okay, and you can, you can do this at any time. So if I had a sketch associated to this plane, wherever this plane goes is where my, my sketch goes, okay? Um, so a plane on an angle, a plane on an angle, and let me delete this offset plane, but a plane on an angle cannot be created unless I have an axis first. So looking at the intersection of, let's say, the top plane and the right plane, you see this silhouette edge represents the intersection of where those two planes uh me where they intersect. So I'm going to put an axis right there. So again, on my features toolbar, I'm going to select reference geometry axis and put one at the intersection of my top plane and my right plane. Now this axis acts as a pivot point for my plane. I have to stick the plane on the axis, but then tell SolidWorks where that plane is going to rotate in which direction. So I'm going to select reference geometry plane. My first reference on the left hand side is going to be the axis that I just created. And you'll notice it's generating a plane. But if I were to literally take this plane in, in if it was attached to this hinge, this plane would spin around 360 degrees. Okay. Against what angle? And that's where the second reference comes into play. I need to select some other flat surface that I can, I can establish an angle with this new plane that I'm generating. I want this plane to be at whatever angle I want. So if I choose the top plane as my second reference, I can now on the left-hand side adjust my angle to whatever de degree I want. So looking at it from the front, here's my axis running straight through the intersection of my right plane and my top plane. Those two default planes that SolidWorks gave me, okay? The plane that I'm creating is traveling through this axis that I created, and it's gonna be 
to whatever angle I choose between the top plane. So looking at it from the front, if I said zero, now I'm at zero. If I type in 45, I'm at 45, and then 90, and then 135, and then 180. And it just goes on and on. There's 270, and um, I don't know, 285, and you know I could just keep going all the way back around to one full revolution. So if for whatever reason I wanted this to be at 45 degrees, right, then that's where I'm, I'm gonna place that. But that's how you create a plane on an angle. And at any time I can go in and adjust the degrees and, and change it and hit rebuild. And now I can put this plane anywhere I want along a 360 degree angle.